Hey guys. Alright, this is it. This is the last episode uh, for now. Uh, this will be the last episode of the countdown. No, the update, rather. Not countdown. Update uh, stuff until uh, two weeks from now, which would officially make that October 20th. So with that, uh, let's get this thing started. I'm ready to go. I hope you guys are ready. Uh, again, I want to recap that tomorrow, the uh, next episode, not tomorrow, next episode will be my, uh, you know, my cover of Super Love. So you guys better get ready for that. Okay, let's do this. September 22nd, Mystery Ponyville Image. Is it game or fan made art? Blah, blah, blah. Draw your own conclusions. Moonstuck Part 3 comes out. More We Love Fine shirts and bags come out. There's a new charity album, Faithful and Strong uh, from the Seeds of Goodness. No, Kindness, rather. So this is uh, Seeds of Kindness. Oh, sorry. Seeds of Kindness 2, Faithful and Strong. This is our new charity album. Uh, if, you don't want, if you don't know what a charity album is, it's basically a lot of artists come together, they make an album, and all the proceeds go to charity. So, we're gonna do the same thing. This is our second one so far. We already did it with one called, well, Seeds of Kindness. The second one is this, Faithful and Strong. And that's our new one. Uh, JetBlue receives a, receives their JetBlue pony. And then we have our results to the poll. Who makes the meanest desserts? That's the end of September 22nd. Then we have a post that simply says, Click it. For September 23rd. We'll get to what they need to click. Later. Where are we? Faithful and Strong debut is, is now going. It's live now. Uh, more Season 3 hype. Uh, Will Anderson... Executive, blah, 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 his executive producer, I guess, spills some beans on how awesome it's going to be, on how good it's going to be. Uh, Serial, uh, Serial Velocity and Calpane then interview the CEO of Enterplay. Legends of Equestria stress tests during Canterlot Gardens happens, I guess. Super, Super Smash Ponies, Vinyl Scratch. Uh, this happens. It, it later turns into what we now know as Game derp. Game derps. Oh, and the whole click it thing was basically the Key Mark Crusaders Gognum style. And they're mods, I guess. They're little. Yeah, they're mods. You see them? They're just doing the leg thing. And Scooter is just nodding her head back and forth because she has the uh, uh, boombox with her. Uh, you actually, you can actually get sound transparency, and the three of them to dance right on the desktop. They actually have a link. Uh, where was I? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, huge thing there. Um, also a discussion for Canterlot Gardens. What did you guys think? First off, what did you guys think of Canterlot Gardens? I didn't see much of it, but I, I hope it was awesome. We have two new Crystal Empire toy sets popping up. Some trailers and intros made. Uh, and the animation Twilight the Unicorn, which is basically... Charlie the Unicorn, if Charlie were Twilight, and the two random ponies or unicorns were Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. There should definitely be a, a canon version of that. You know, Andrea and and John and Tara all come together, and whatever else there was, the, the sort of, you know, uh, voices, the the... the 
extra things that just came in, like the shoe and the no, not the shoe, the uh, uh the the bridge and the uh, well, mostly crackle, uh, replacing the Leo Plerodon. Anyway, uh, September 24th, we have Kindle Gardens announcing Andrew Francis and more stuff. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, poll results. Choose the name for JetBlue's pony. We also have a Brony thank you ad premiering at Canterlot Gardens, etc., etc. We have a possible Season 3 time frame announced on Italian... On Italians... On... And, on an Italian site. We have another hub marathon uh the coming Saturday, which was last no two weeks ago. Probably. I'm not sure. Um and then animation and then Mr. Pollinator gets another one. It's called uh Chaotic Wedding, which is probably the wedding episode. By the way, we can all now confirm that the Jet Blue Pony's name is called Jet Stream. That is her name, ladies and gentlemen. Her name is Jet Stream. Not Earhart, not Baby Blue, not Flight Snack, not Blue Chipper, not Wingnut, not True Blue, not uh, Wild Blue Yonder, not Chopper, not Chipper Blue, as opposed to Blue Chipper, not Blue Blazes, but Jet Stream. That is her name, Jet Stream. Anyway, CBS 5 News reported on Baronies. KPHO then reported on Baronies as well. Equestria LA announces more people like Andrea and Brenda Churchill. Kirchlow. Find out who they are. Check them out. What other fan bases do you associate with is the discussion for that day. What else do we have? Uh, September, twi September 25th, we have a uh, new blind bag set and movable ponies on Tabo. Hope I'm saying that right. DVD commentaries are now waiting to be finalized. Movable ponies, we take another look at that. Weekly media roundup, the 17th to the 23rd. Animation, the animator song, Blast on the Past 14. Everfree radio interviews. Kirchlow, shows and intros, etc., etc. Now the 26th, we love find the Asian pop phenoms and bananas. Oh my, yes, yes, it's official, ladies and gentlemen. Bronies now have shirts for not only bananas and Celestia, but we have a pony Gundam style T-shirt. Yes, it's official. Our next discussion: create a pony superhero squad. That's going to be cool. Charge of Equestria is now officially closed after their whole season and assist thing. Uh, pony Collection Contest Entry Post. Sun and Moon, a pony strategy game opens up. Tumblr Spotlight now goes to Ask Ruby Pinch and Pinkie Pie something. And Dragon Shy, voiced by Professor Layton, is now, is now released. We have a short interview with Kate, Katie Cook on the comic. And then we have, I guess, just a picture, because I do not see a description uh, for this. And it is uh, the 27th of September. Ba probably just an animation. Who knows? Uh, I answer, I do. And it is... Uh, oh, here we are. It's... Uh, Rarity helps with coding. Another serial velocity uh, thing. Another thing from serial velocity. Alright, so to continue on now. Where was I? 27. Okay, gotta go freaking back. Okay. 27. Here we are. There we go. Alright. Ponies then invade World of Warcraft. Derby Days. Ponyville Boombox Review. We have Legends of Equestria. The Alpha Stress Test Update. Pony. 
Barbell at Hot Topic. Possible barbell, I'm not sure. Um, Party with the Ponies Marathon promo or something like that. That's a promo on the hub. Uh, Trot Stuck, Homestuck with Ponies. Let us tell you about homes, Homestuck. How long is that? Disney PMV, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Notre, Notre Dame, actually. Not, not Notre Dame. That's a football team. And Mad TV's Eeyore and Twilight Sparkle Skits. Which was, uh... All right, just got the the sign to wrap it all up. And how long are we in? It's just ten minutes. All right, but we're almost done, guys. Don't worry. I mean, this is it. So basically, tomorrow uh, you will see. Don't worry. I promise you will see the uh, the episode. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes. Um, yes. Okay. So twenty eighth September. The Cantalot Gardens live stream begins. Cantalot Gardens is finally here at this point. We have another exclusive comic cover from Third Eye Comics stuff. So the Cincinnati Comic Expo Pony Panel, now at least. Then we have a discussion. Top 10 favorite and least favorite episodes. Legends of Equestria Alpha Stress Test then goes live. Ponies are in the news again. CG fighting is magic. Is CG Camelot Gardens fighting is magic build with Rainbow Dash. Uh, da 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 da. Convention compilation. Bootleg ponies spotted. The Traveling Pony Museum is a post-con update. And Equestrian Inquirer number 54 comes out. Sweetie Belle then plays Minecraft. They have uh. More We Love Fine shirts with crazy references. And then the convention. Parody. Basically, again, the Friendship is Witchcraft crew doing an animation. Uh, and a parody of At the Gala. But instead, putting the ponies not going to the Grand Galloping Gala, but going to Everfree Northwest instead, and calling it At no, the Convention. Just the convention. Rolling Stone then reports on Andrew W.K.'s performance at Cantalot Gardens. So I was right earlier in, a few episodes ago about Conan. Um, Cantalot Gardens then sells out. Animation trailer snowdrop. Fighting is magic. Tournament begins. Uh, tourney if it's a different thing. Then we have a DVD containing the Super Speed Sire Squeezy 6000 package comes out or something. National Pony Writing Month compilation posts begins. Smells like apples at Big Lots. We have a last exit to Ponyville update. Some animations. Tara Strong then cosplays as Twilight at Canterlot Gardens. And duct tape Rainbow Dash time lapse. Yes, time lapse of how to make Rainbow Dash using only duct tape. First and to finish off September. We have the awesome, an apparently awesome PMV dork bumped because it's awesome. Source filmmakers, blah blah blah. M.A. Larson is now signed for Equestria Los Angeles in November, EQLA for short. Super Smash Ponies evolves again. Uh, now on Twitter, Charlotte Fullerton and Steph Mahoney, I'm guessing. Anyway, uh, Beach Ball Comics French MLP launch party in California comes out. Uh, we have a new game, Cantalot Defense. Friendship is Magic then has a themed disposable wash glove. We have poll results for what kind of pony merch do you own? Uh, Snuggle Truck. The Snuggle Truck adds ponies and plants trees. And the top 10 pony video and possibly music. Voting for September begins. That finishes off September of 2012. October 1st, 2012. Midtown comic cover revealed. We have a, a new discussion. What kind of events do you want to see? 
uh, from somewhere. The the Twitter thing we have uh yeah stuff Mahoney. Uh, you want to check out who they are. You gotta find out where they are, what they are, really. Um, my guess is they're just writers. Season three then is announced officially for November. So yes, finally, season three is announced and it will come out next month. It's gonna be a long month, but still, it's gonna be a long October. I mean, it's gonna be a long October. So, what kind of events do you want to see for October? Basically, is what they're asking for that discussion from earlier. Lost Pegasus Unicon gets some updates. Uh, Pony Wall starts to invade Toys R Us. We have a great and powerful Ben, the great and powerful Bender, which is basically uh, John DiMaggio, uh, who plays Jake. And Jake the dog in uh, Adventure Time. Basically, what he did, he, he went to Cantalot Gardens and he basically did the scene of, um, of Trixie. He did the Trixie scene. He basically was Trixie using Jake's voice or, or his voice. So, yeah. You guys gotta check that out because that is hilarious. At first, you probably won't know what he's talking about, but then you watch the and if you haven't watched the episode, you won't really get it. But then you keep watching it, and you've already watched the episode, and you'll note that it's not like, you know, he said all this stuff, and they just randomly cut it in together. No, he literally did this. He literally, it literally sounds like he actually did this. Haven't seen the actual video yet, but so. Uh, Midwestria post-con wrap-up. Straight up from the something. Uh, Pony Songs of September finally begins their voting period. Ponies in the News, The Guardian, and The Mary Sue. And uh, that ends October 1st and the 41st anniversary of Disney World. And um, the 30th. Yeah, the 30th of uh, Epcot. So, yeah, happy birthday, you two. Uh, October 2nd, two, sis two Best Sisters, that whole series, the Two Best Sisters play series, Resident Evil 4, that's what it is now, the, the newest episode is Resident Evil 4, now for that Midwestria thing, basically like uh, post-con wrap-up straight from the staffers, as for Pony's in the news, yeah, The Guardian and Mary Sue, I don't know why they had the dot 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 in there, anyway, uh, Ponies then be Jerry Springer. Now, we said this a few episodes ago, that Jerry Springer said, Hey, I need some bronies. And we were like, uh, not really. Well, it sort of worked out pretty well, but hold on for a sec. We have Hot Diggity Demon's Camelot Gardens panel video, which is honestly amazing. I loved it, and it's great. Uh, it's hilarious, so check it out. Huffington Post then has a brony article. We have a giant Trixie cake. John Delancey gets interviewed on SFX, Spanish TV reports on bronies, and the new collection sets pop up at Toys R Us. So, a lot of new stuff, mostly. That's what this episode has been. One day, one dollar donation drive for Kiki's Cancer Research. Basically, if you haven't heard, uh, Tara Strong has this little friend, this little girl named Kiki, who is uh, basically you know, a survivor of a very big thing, like, she had this illness where she couldn't really, like, see, she couldn't respond, she couldn't talk, so, basically, it was like, oh, well, she's not going to live forever, she's not going to live for a long time, but it was with the help of us that we basically came together and we said, this girl can live, but with the right, you know, stuff, so we said, okay, we're going to donate this much money to her fun, so, now it's official, there is indeed a site, uh, one day, one dollar donation drive. So every day, one if they can get a dollar a day, that's amazing. Uh, then they're like, okay, well, it's bon so discussion. Bonify the holidays. Bronies for good. Their uh, Red Hearts Roundup Two concludes. It's basically like a blood drive, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. That's what the picture told me. Then we have a 60 month color in calendar. You can color in the calendar. Lyra reviews the throne of England. 
Lunar Transmission interviews Cal, Serial, and Zyro. Cal Fane, Serial, and Zyro, one, whatever. Then they just say, well, October 3rd was a slow day. I'm sorry, we're getting uh, the notion that we have to go to bed. But I'm almost complete. Let's see how fast I can get this done. The comic uh, issue number one release date is now changed to later this month. The bronies on the Jerry Springer thing speak on their own. They talk about what happened from their point of view. Then we have Brony Gognum Style. Thanks to AC Racebus again for another amazing video. And uh, congrats to all those who were actually in the video. Uh, Fighting is Magic then has a post-con wrap-up. So Fighting is Magic, nice job. Uh, also, yeah, that's the end of Cantalot Gardens right there. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Rock Band is now about to add more pony music. Rock Band 3, nice job. As I said before, Game Derps, Motion Comics videos. Pretty cool episodes. Uh... Let's see. Uh, then we and then we're announcing the Hearthswarming Care Package. Then Camaraderie is Supernatural Episode Three, called the Creepy. And to finish off, what we have from yesterday, uh, nightly. Uh, no, no, October fifth. New Wheel of Fine shirts, Kid Self collage posters, uh, trailers, SFM, etc. Et Poll results for Who Needs a Character Building Backstory. Uh, Ponies then invade Jeopardy, which basically a guy saying, hey, I'm a brony. Not really much else. Then discussion, your pony story. You can actually find mine on that post, so. You can actually find my story on that post. That's pretty cool. Pony crafts, tainted skies, engine processes, and fog stuff. And we love fine gives away posters and shirts. Also, amazing custom ties. Now, thank you for watching. That is it. So the next episode, guys, will be me seeing Super Love as a cover, and that's for a very special reason, and I'll tell you why before I sing the song in the next episode, um, but before I go, I want to talk to you guys about, well, let's see if they actually have one, um, the poll right now is, who had the best Nightmare Night costume, as in last season, last season, who had the best costume? Uh, we have a lot more news to cover up for, uh, two weeks from now, today. Uh, and don't worry, that will come soon. Also, I want to give... Hold on. Wait. Hmm. Well, apparently it's, uh, Applejack's birthday. Probably not Applejack herself, it's probably, uh, who knows, Ashley Ball, so, if Ashley's celebrating the birthday, if I, either Ashley or Applejack, who knows, well, either way, happy birthday, um, hope you had a good one, and, uh, as for what I was about to say, leave in the comments down below, uh, who do you think had the best costume? Uh, also, a few more stats on what we have so far, uh, as for Seeds of Kindness 2 and Equestria LA and Traveling Pony Museum. Uh, we have, the site now has over 250 million page views, so congratulations, EQD. Let's go for 300,000. And, yeah, I mean, good luck to that. And a lot of the other stuff that I can see here. So, anyway... Thanks for watching if you've gotten this far. And I'll see you for that uh, little video.